Welcome everyone. It's good to see everyone tonight. I think this is the large, largest group for a while. Can I ask, can I, yeah, can I ask Ronnie, since he's back from the dead, can you open us up in a word of prayer, please? Lori, thank you for tonight that uh, you have guided us even, uh, through the internet to study your word. Yes, thank Lord. you for a new day. Thank you for a new breath of life. And thank you that we can study your word, O oh God. May you give us wisdom. And may open a heart as we study your word and even uh, give wisdom to Pastor Tim as he leads the Bible study tonight. Pray, O oh Lord, that you would guide us, that you will not make mistake in interpreting your word. Thank you so much, Lord, that your word is like a two-edged sword. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, for tonight. And thank you so much, Lord, for all of us who are here joining to Amen. have a Bible study. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Everyone can see that. Okay, so what I'm yeah. actually what I what I my plan is for today, because there's so many people and it's a very challenging text, and um, I'm just going to read it myself. So if everyone can just listen. I want everyone to be able to, 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 to hear what's being said and it can be clear because it's, it's, it's hard for me and I'm a, my first language is English. So it's, it's, very, uh, it's one of the more difficult sections in the Bible, but there's great truths there. So we'll begin in uh, Hebrews chapter 7, verses 11 until verse, verse 19. The word of the Lord says, now, if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need would there have been for another priest to arise after the order of Melchizedek, rather than one named after the order of Aaron? For when there is a change in the priesthood, there is necessarily a change in the law as well. For the one of whom these things were spoken belonged to another tribe, from which no one has ever served at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord was descended from Judah, and in connection with that tribe, Moses said nothing about priests. This becomes even more evident when another priest arises in the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become a priest not on the basis of a legal requirement concerning bodily descent, but by the power of an indestructible life. For it is witness of him, you are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. For on the one hand, a former commandment is set aside because of its weakness and uselessness, because the law made nothing perfect. But on the other hand, a better hope is introduced through which we draw near to God. So, <laughs> so deep so challenging uh let's let me bring up our discussion uh like notepad as you look at the passage in your bibles as you can look at it on the screen let let's ask questions let's make observations and then and then i'll also sort of direct us through because the the, the grammar alone is very difficult understanding the syntax and, and the connections so I'm gonna I'm gonna underline and highlight to kind of guide us because you you will just become so lost. Okay. So, but before we do that, I do want us to really study the text to to to, to look for significance um, through observations. Maybe there's a question that you want to be uh, expounded upon. So I'll just go ahead and open the floor. Let's focus on verse 11 right now. So Tim, yeah, go ahead. this is Joy. So yeah, go ahead. where is it that it says that uh, perfection could have been attained through the Levitical Christian? I have never heard about that. So 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 yes, great question. So the, the text is not saying that it's it's possible. Um so let, let, No no no, I'm saying 
yeah, it, it, it's not saying it's possible, but is there anywhere else in the Bible that says it can be achieved that way? I thought the Levitical priesthood is just like, they're just designated to do some rites, but it's not necessarily mean that or um, ceremonies, but not necessarily achieve any yeah. kind of perfection. Yes. So you are, you, you are, so this comes back. So no, great observation, Joy. Excellent observation and question. So, so your question touches back on, um, there's no place where it says that the Levitical priesthood saves eternally. It saves uh, it saves us from death and hell, F uh, physical death, or um, I shouldn't say physical death, but but spiritual death. Okay, uh, if you during the Old Testament, if you didn't follow the, the Levitical priesthood, you would be put to death. <laughs> so, so, so there was a, a, a but it, but it wouldn't save from that from that. Um, um, it wouldn't bring us to perfection. Okay, you are correct. So. This is why it's so important to be thinking about uh, about issues in the Christian Jewish uh, audience. Okay, uh, the the Bible doesn't teach that. The Old Testament doesn't teach it, like you say. But there were many. That was how Jews interpreted it. <laughs> that was the interpretation. So so what the author is doing is he is he is responding to a bad interpretation of of the Levitical priesthood, that perfection could be attained through the Mosaic law and through the Levitical priesthood. Um, so let me just, let me just, I'll piggyback with your, your question here is, so it's introduced by this, this word if, right? So I think Paul is in here. You have like if then statements. There, there's a, it's going to introduce a condition there's going to be a condition, and then there's going to be a main statement connected to the condition, okay? So the condition is if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, okay? So it's, it's not, like you say, it's not saying that it can be attainable, but if it was attainable, so this is the, this is the if, or we could say condition, where is the then? If then. Whenever you see an if, you need to be looking for a then, okay? You have the, de you have the, the then here. And the then comes in a form of a question. If then. If, if, so people were claiming that perfection, th this, would be, this would be a claim, a claim of uh, the Jews. And then Jewish Christians are being tempted to follow it. Okay? So, so, so that, that's what's going on there, I, I think, Joy. Um, so then, if so, then if we if we if we come down here, what's the question? If if the claim is true, if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, what further need would there have been for another priest to arise after the order of Melchizedek? Okay. So what it's saying is, if if perfection was attainable, there would be no need for another priest like Melchizedek. Go ahead, Pastor Noel. Uh, sorry. Just to uh, follow up there. In, in the mindset of any Jewish uh, practitioner, what they practice, to them, to reach God, you have to be perfect. That's why there's law. You have to perfectly uh, follow the law in order for you to reach God. That's doing these rituals. That's why the question is here is uh, if able to that law, then then why is there another way? It's kind of like that, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 No, so, that's really so good. The author was saying it's not really possible. That's why there is another priest that rise that uh, arise. So. No. Great, great observation, um, Pastor Noel. So it, we are seeking perfection. The issue, though, is that can perfection be attained through? the law yeah. And, yeah. and specifically through 
the, the, the Levitical priesthood, which is within the law. So just so that you can understand a uh, big picture here, you have, you would have the law and then you have different components of the law. You have, you have worship, you have, uh, the priesthood, you have the, 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 the king, right? So there's, there's different components. Uh, you have, um, uh, Dietary laws. I'm I'm sorry. I just want to ask, if I may. Yes. What is, yes. What is the difference between the order of Melchizedek and the order of Aaron? Yeah. So we're we're going to unpack the difference. Uh, uh, we discussed that last week. Um, uh, Melchizedek never uh, never died. Number one, he was, an, he was uh, in the story, he's presented as not having died. He's also presented as being greater than Abraham. And, and uh, the Levites yeah. are underneath, are underneath Abraham. So, so, that would, so that would be several differences. We're going to discuss more, more differences. I would say just to, to really get down to the specifics, Melchizedek is a priest to God, and he is the king of righteousness, okay? And so okay. you have this clearly, uh, that was a discussion from last week we had. So yes, is this, exactly, is yes. Like, or is this Mari Tess? It's Helen. It's Helen. Okay. Helen. <laughs> it's Happy good. Helen. Good, yeah. good. Okay, let, so let, let, let's continue on. Okay. Uh, any other comments or questions? So I think Joy is getting to the, to the big point that the, the author is saying it's not attainable. Okay, so the, the, the big point here is that, is that uh, perfection is not attainable. But, no, nobody or nothing is perfect. No, but, so but, it is but, not. but it's, 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 uh, it's attainable through the, the one who is after Melchizedek, but not through. The key here is through, this is the key, through the Mosaic law. Okay? This is the key. This is, this, is the, this is the proposition that he is going to continue to disprove to the audience. Because they're, they're thinking about going back. They're thinking about going back. Now, let's... So, uh, Tim, so the question is, why was the that Levitical priesthood or the law, why was it even established? What's the basis for that? Yeah, so, so, there, so there's, there's, uh, there's several reasons. There's several reasons that, that the, the New Testament authors, writers give. Uh, in Hebrews, later on, we're going to see that, that, that um, the Mosaic law is a shadow or a type of, of the true reality, okay? So if you're looking at, just imagine, it, in the heavenly places, there's an eternal law or covenant, okay? So the, those, the stone tablet? Yeah, it's, I'm just doing, yeah, so this is, but this is the, uh, this is the eternal law, the eternal, the new covenant, the eternal covenant, okay, in the heavens, okay? This is, this is heaven, this is heavens, this is earth, okay? The, the way the author is, so I'm giving you a preview to, to, to what Hebrews is going to say. Author of Hebrews says that the law, the Old Testament law, was a shadow or a reflection of the true heavenly reality. So uh, think about the sun. So let, let's do a comparison here. You have, you have the sun. You have an object, and then you have its 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 shadow, diba. Mm -hmm. So 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 uh, according to the what he, the author of Hebrews is going to explain that the Mosaic law or the old covenant is a shadow of the real reality in the heavens. Okay, so. 
one fundamental understanding of the law is that it's a it's a shadow a picture right so if you see it here's a question for you if you saw if if you couldn't see a person or you let's say you couldn't see a car okay let's say let's say i i love porsches right porsches are an amazing car uh, but if i couldn't see the car but but i could see a shadow of the car a shadow of the car the car's around the corner but i see the shadow of, of a car the shadow points to something real the car diba but it's yeah. not the car okay it's not the car but it points to the reality okay so that's one picture of what of what the the law is in the grand scheme of things it's grand purpose okay but let's quickly go to another passage so that you can see another another purpose of the law there's several purposes of the law okay let's go to let's go to galatians chapter 3 you know galatians is 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 a, an argument for uh, the gospel of Christ in contrast to a gospel of promise through circumcision and the old covenant or the or the the, the mosaic law okay Galatians 3.10. I'm just going to read here. I'm just going to read Galatians 3.10 following. Just, just listen. Um, uh, works of the law is referring to the Mosaic law, following the Mosaic law. So listen, go ahead, listen. Uh, 3 verse 10. For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law and do them. So fundamentally, the Mosaic law is a, a law of, uh, is, a, is a structure of doing, uh, listening, remaining, and doing things, okay? Everything. Now, it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law or the Mosaic law, for the righteous shall live by faith. The law is not faith. Rather, the one who does them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. So that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. So, so the, the whole focus in scripture is not the Mosaic law. It's the promise of Abraham, okay? The promise of Abraham is... It, but, but, the, but, the, but the problem is, is that the Jews were saying, if you want the promise of Abraham, you've got to do the law. <laughs> That's what they were saying. And Paul was saying, no, 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 no. No one can do the law. Uh, if you try to do the law, you're cursed because you're going to fail, like Atimari Tess said. Um, the blessing of Abraham has come through Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is, is, is what we need, not the Mosaic law so that we might receive the spirit through faith. To give a human example, brothers, even a man-made covenant no one annuls or adds to it once it has been ratified. Now the promises were made to Abraham and to his offspring. It does not say to offsprings, plural, as in the Jews, but referring to many, but referring to one, and in your offspring, who is Christ. So Abrahamic covenant, blessing is in Christ. So it's not with the Jews. It's not with the Old Covenant. It's with Christ, okay? And, and that's something we would all agree to. It's, for us, it's almost, we don't have an issue with it. But someone who's a Jew, you would really wrestle with this. <coughs> so, yeah. So, it's so a, go ahead. I, just to, uh, to give a little answer to the question, why was the Levitical law established if it would not be to perfection? It was given... Uh, to, to the Israelites through Moses, the law, that it, just, just as a guide. But as Steve was saying, the, 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 their focus should be on the promise, on the covenant of God with Abraham. But the, 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 the Jewish people has a tendency to, to, uh, to focus on something they see. So yeah. when, they, when, when the law was given, instead of focusing on, on the, uh, the promise or the covenant with Abraham, they focus obeying the law yeah. just to give you an example when they, when they were when they were bitten by snakes in the uh, in the wilderness 
So what did God say to Moses? Oh, make a snake and then raise it. Whoever looks at the snake will be healed. Yeah. So the, 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 the snake there is the representation of the power of God. But what happened to people is they worship the, yeah. the snake instead of acknowledging the power of God because they see it. That's why in, in, in the end, uh, God commanded Moses to burn that snake. Yeah. So because they, 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 have, they have a tendency to, to focus on something they want to see. Even when Aaron, when, when God, when, 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 they were, when they were forcing Aaron to give us a God because they want a God that they see. So what yeah. happened? Uh, Aaron was forced to build a golden calf. So that's what's, what's how they are. But they tend to, to, uh, to deviate from the covenant of God to, to Abraham, which, you know, inst that, instead of that, they focus on the Lord, which is because it's more tangible for them yeah. and they can just follow it, kind of like that. No, that's really good, Pastor. And he's, he's stealing my thunder. So, <laughs> but, sorry, sorry. No, 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 it's good. No, no, you explained it very well. And, and it's segueing me right into in, in the verse. Uh, Verse uh, 19, verse 18. For if the inheritance comes by law, it is no longer a promise. But God gave it to Abraham as a promise. So it's not, a, it's not a merit. It's not earning. It's a promise, okay? Why then the law? So why, why do we have the law? That's Auntie Joy's question because Levitical yeah. priesthood is within the law. Why do we have the law? It was added because of transgressions. What Master Al just eloquently described. The, the Israelites were so disobedient. They were, you know, it was added because of transgressions, because of sins, until the offspring should come to whom the promise had been made. And it was put there through angels by intermediary. Now, of course, the, the intermediary implies more than one, but God is one. Is the law contrary to the promises of God? Certainly not. For if a law had been given that could give life, then righteousness would be indeed through the law. Okay, so that's literally what the question is. And that's what Ati Joy said. I've never heard that it, it's taught like that. And Paul just reinforces what we're, what we're, what we're, 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 we're saying. Look at verse 22. But scripture imprisoned everyone under sin so that the promise by faith in Christ Jesus might be given to those who believe. Okay, so just I just want to give three. There's a, maybe there's some other reasons too that are more complicated, but I think Joy to answer your question for the Levitical priesthood and and the law because both both are one and the same. They're connected. Okay, and we'll see that in a bit. Number one, it's a it's a it's a it's a type. It's a type, a shadow of of the, the of the the heavenly reality. We're going to see there's a law in the heavens. There's a tabernacle in the heavens. There's a sacrifice in the heavens. Jesus sprinkles his blood on the eternal sacrifice. There's, there's, a, there's the covenant in the heavens. Um, there's a city in the heavens. There's the heavenly Jerusalem in the heavens. So that's one. There's, there's the type is the one. And then here we have two others. To, to expose sin, to show humanity their sin. And then, of course, also to be a guide to, 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 during that time so that sin just doesn't just go out of hand and people just do whatever. The, the law was always to give the people a standard as they waited for the, as they waited for the, the Messiah to come. So those are just three, three reasons. Maybe it's a lengthy answer. I did want to spend some time on, on it. Um, does that make sense, Ati Joy? Yes. 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 Thank you. Great. And, and I wanted to touch on that because I'm really glad you asked the question. I wanted to touch on that, Ati Joy, because, because it's, so, it's so important to, 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 to our text here. Um, so, so let's, let's go on here. Okay. So, so the, the comment is just, just to really bring this in, in, in the clarity. Okay. This is not true. Therefore, there is a need for this. Okay. Because the condition is not met, okay, if the condition is not met, then the, the, the main statement does not hold. So the condition is if perfection had been attainable, there's no further need of another priesthood. The condition is not met, 
And therefore, there is a need for another priest after the order of Melchizedek, okay? So the, 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 there's, a, there's a contrast, which, we, which was started last week. There's a contrast between the order of Aaron and the order of Melchizedek, okay? All right. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe this, let me just, let me, maybe I can just work through and exp- talk through the passage. And then if you have a question, just, just stop me. I can't see everybody because there's many people. Just stop me and interrupt me. I'll, maybe I'll just talk through your pastor. You can just interrupt me. I'll just talk through this because it, it gets a little complicated. Um, and, and we're going to, I don't want to run out of time like last time. So, so, uh, so then what we have here is, after that statement, so the, the statement does not hold. There is a need. So verse 11 is saying there is a need for another priest, okay? What does verse 12 say? Verse 12 is introduced by this conjunction, which is an, an explanatory conjunction. So this is going to explain this. Verse 12 explains verse 11, okay? Okay explains and also if you want to say elaborates upon it further uh clarifies now watch this okay for when when there is a change so we first established levitical priesthood is not enough we need another priest to reach perfection okay we need another priest to reach perfection all right uh but if there's a change in the priesthood there must be what a change in the law as well. Yes. Yes. You see that? Apo. So it did change. Huh? It's okay. I think yeah. I don't want to jump onto the end of the conversation. It's okay. 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 Yeah. So. 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 Uh. What we want to see there is when the priesthood changes, this is a time reference, okay, time. When the priesthood changes, the law must change as well. <laughs> and you can see how the, audience, the author is trying to draw the audience away from the Mosaic law. He's trying to point them, he's trying to point them to this. He's drawing them away from the order of Aaron and to Melchizedek, okay? And so there also must be this change. There must be a change in what? The law, okay? There must be a change in the law, okay? And then what do we have next here? We have yet another explanatory for that's going to further elaborate upon Verse 12. So verse 12 explains verse 11. Verse 13 explains verse 12. For the one, the one, the one, this is the object here. And then you're going to have a description of whom these things are spoken belong to another tribe. (laughs) Who's the one? Who is the one? What Jesus. did you say, the, who, who is the one? The one of whom these things are being spoken of? Jesus. Jesus, yes. Yes. He belongs to... He belongs... Okay, right? Yes. Is, this, is that Paulo? Yes. Very nice. No. Jesus belongs to Judah, but who does the, who does the, what is the name of the existing priesthood? The Levites. Uh, it's, it's Aaron or the Levites. Yes, I heard, I heard Levites. I heard Levites. <laughs> That's a different tribe. <laughs> so, you understand that fundamentally this can't be a different plan. Fundamentally, this can't be um, J- Jesus. Uh, the issue is, is, is Jesus is part of another tribe, but he's a priest. Yeah. 
amazing, right? It's so amazing. It's going to get crazier. It's going to get crazier. So just, just hang on to your seat. He belongs to another tribe. And then watch this. From which? From which? So this is referring to the tribe of Judah. From which no one has ever served at the altar. Think about this would be, this is anathema to a Jew. This is anathema. You're putting, you're putting a newbie. You're putting someone who has no, uh, uh, no connection with the Levites. You're, you're conflicting. Imagine in the U.S., right? You have balances of power. You have judge, judicial, uh, 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 legislative branch, and the executive branch. Uh, um, uh, Supreme Court, Supreme Court, Congress and Senate, and then you have president, and you don't mix the two, and they're always fighting. They're all you, the same. The same in the same in the uh, the Old Testament. You would have the, the prophetic, the prophetic, the prophetic function. You would have the priestly function, and you'd have the kingly function. And the two, the two wouldn't. Uh, the, the two stand alone. The, 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 you know, can you imagine now you're you're combining priest and king? You're <laughs> combining priest and king. That would be so offensive, you know. Like he's trying. To get power. You're so happy, Tim. <laughs> what was that? You're so happy. I'm sorry. It's just it's. If you put yourself in the in the Jewish shoes, that's a slap on their face. It is so offensive. It is so offensive. It is so offensive. Let's just think about that for a second, and then I'll continue on here. And then we have yet another. We have another. <laughs> so he's just explaining, explaining, explaining upon. You have another explanation. It is evident. So we could say this is uh, this could be now a a, a a proof. It is evident. It is clear. It is it is it is evident that the Lord is what Paulo just identified. The Lord was descended from Judah. Okay. What's the content of this proof? Jesus is from Judah, not Levi, not the tribe of Levi, not Aaron. Okay. The least you expect. Yes. <laughs> yes. And 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 furthermore, you have this progression. So this is going to be heightened. Not only is he from Judah, look at this. Moses, he's the one who's gonna speak. Said nothing. <laughs> Said nothing about priest concerning judah there's nothing there is nothing in the mosaic law concerning uh, a priest coming from judah except there's one passage in deuteronomy 18 that says there's a final prophet coming that's going to fill out fill up this law it's going to fill it up he's going you need to listen to him okay and so so it, there's a there's a loophole <laughs> there's a loophole to permit this okay there's a loophole to permit this but moses doesn't state this okay he says and even even moses from the tribe of levi too yeah moses is from the tri tribe of levi right yeah that's correct that's excellent yeah this becomes even more evident okay so we have so this is this is uh proof one this is proof two Um, so, uh, um, excuse question. So, did the um, tradition that it comes from the tribe of Levi came because of Moses who brought the law, you know, and then, yeah. and then it that just became the tradition that it's his line, that line where he came from became the priest. Is that, or was it already predefined even before Moses that? the priests are going to be from the line of Levi. Yeah, so, so if you go back and study in Genesis, uh, yeah. Levi and Simeon are scattered because of their sin. They're scattered into Israel. And, right. then, and, then, and then the Lord says, the, the Lord says that 
the firstborn is mine. Um, um, and so instead of taking the firstborn, God takes from, uh, from Israel, Levi and Simeon, and they become, the Lord establishes in the Mosaic law, Levi as the, as the priesthood. And, and as long as the, the Mosaic law is binding in effect, Levi is the priest, the priesthood. Okay. So, so it, it's not, it, of course it, the tradition is that it will always be like that. But the setup by God was that Levi would be the priest, would, 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 would be the priest, okay? Does that make sense? So where, where was that established? Was that when um, Jacob um, blessed, yes. you know, his children? Was it yes. at that time that it was defined? Th that, would be like the, that would be like the origins of it. But the really where it's defined that Levi is the priest of God is, is, it, is in... Is, uh, in uh, Exodus and Deuteronomy, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. That's where okay. it's really unpacked by Team. Moses. Yeah, go ahead. Excuse me. Um, but the Levi, the Levites, priests, but Levites are already there. You remember we studied about the Abraham, because Levites are under Abraham, but he's still Abraham look up to Melchizedek. Yeah. So, so yes, no, great point, Ati Marta. So last week looked at the fact that, that um, the author's argument was that the Levites were in the loins of Abraham as a reason for, for having Levi. Last week, pretty much the author is proving that Levi is underneath Melchizedek. Okay. So last, last week, the author argues that Levi is not equal or greater than the order of Melchizedek. Levi is underneath Melchizedek and underneath Abraham. Okay. This week he's, he's going to show that Melchizedek is it. Okay. So, 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 so he's building upon that argument. So thank you for that clarification, Atimari test, that, that reminder. That's, that's really good. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments? So we have, we have these two, proves or statements building towards a climax okay there's two proofs building towards a climax number one it's evident that uh jesus our lord so this is this is uh jesus our lord is from judah and in connection with that moses says nothing about priests okay if, if you want to say this is a second proof or if you want to say this is a this is a, uh, you could say that this is further explaining, a, a further uh, clarification. But watch this now. What does verse 15 say? Verse 15 says, this becomes more evident. Okay, so really, so really this would be the second major proof. The first proof is evident there. This becomes more evident. So there is a there is something that comes into reality. What is that? What is that reality? That reality is when another, another priest comes on the scene. That's Melchizedek. <laughs> so right. go ahead. No, no, I'm saying, so like, it's, it's not. Melchizedek. It's not just another. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Atijay. Go ahead, Atijay. Yeah, so it's not just any other priest, but it has to be in the um, like Melchizedek because it was in last week's um, um, uh, our study. It's Melchizedek is above, right? It's above yes. um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Abraham. Abraham. Yeah. Because Ab so it has to be something above Abraham and only at at least from following last week's uh, discussion, it has to be something like Melchizedek. Yes, yes. So it's not just anybody. Yes, correct. The likeness of Melchizedek. <clears throat> the likeness of Melchizedek. Now, what specifically is the likeness of Melchizedek? What is, what is the proof that he is part of Melchizedek and that, and that, he, is, that he is not any priest, as Ati Joy says, but, but some... Uh, uh, some someone special. Yeah, the power of indestructible life. Ah, yes. Uh, 
It's not any priest. It's, it's a priest that comes, and he's not claiming bodily descent, but indestructible life, as Auntie Joy says. Okay? Yeah. So forever the, after. When you, yeah, when you have a priest that shows up that's, not, that's alive forevermore and, and is the king of the universe, it's like, okay, <laughs> maybe the law needs to change. <laughs> the law must change. It must change, okay? Now, what I, I, what I want to do is I just want to, to end, because what time is it? Is it already almost 9 o'clock? Okay, 834. Let, let's just end on this passage, and then we can continue this next week, because this is just going to further build. This is just going to further build. Um, and we don't, want to, we don't want to be, I think it's a good place to stop on this verse 17. So verse 17 gives yet another, another four. He, there's yet another explanation to this. And, and, and there is, you, you could even look, you could look further back to, to more than just the previous clause. Uh, it is witnessed of him. So this is a, this is a reference here. Okay. This is a Old Testament citation. This is an Old Testament citation. Look at this. Does anyone have a, a Bible where you can look up? What, what is that passage? Does anyone have a Bible that can look up that, that specific passage? Psalm 104. Let's go to Psalm 110. So, so Psalm 110, verse 4. Psalm 110, verse 4. So although Moses said nothing about the, the king of Judah being the priest, the Old Testament and God himself speaks about this. Psalm 110. If you were looking at fundamental Old Testament passages, there are, are several of them. Uh, Psalm 2, we talked about before, is a foundational. Psalm 110 is very foundational for who Jesus is, who the Messiah is, who the Christ is. Uh, so this is a fun, foundational passage that we should all be very familiar with. I'll just read it so that it can be clear. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. That was quoted in Hebrews chapter 1, okay, describing uh, the Son of God, okay, and chapter 2, and chapter 2. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty scepter to rule in the midst of your enemies. So this is referring to the Messiah. He's king, okay? He is sovereign. He's king over the, the universe, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of power in holy garments from the womb of the morning. The dew of your youth will be yours. The Lord has sworn, and he will not change his mind. The same swearing that we saw that he made to Abraham. That we talked about the oath. It cannot be changed. God has sworn to Abraham, and now he swears to Abraham's offspring, the, 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 the Messiah, Jesus, his son. The Lord has sworn he will not change his mind. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So it was in God's plan to change the priesthood. That was always the design because the Levitical priesthood is a shadow. It's a type. The real priesthood, so this is something foundational. We're going to come back to this in a second. We, 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 talk about, we, we talk about this picture here. Um, this, is, uh, this is the true reality. This is the type, or we could say shadow, okay? All right? There's multiple things in the law, many things that are types or shadows. What includes here is the Levites. The Levitical priesthood is just a type for uh, <laughs> Jesus priest. as high priest. What was that? As the real high priest. High priest, yeah. Uh, they're not perfect, but, but, and they're not meant to be. Yeah. They're not meant yes. to be. Yeah. And, and yes. remember, the, the, a shadow points a shadow points to a reality, okay? Uh, if we have a picture of someone or something, 
we are not infatuated with the picture if we have the real entity. I have a picture of my wife, my beautiful wife here, okay? But I am not so in love with the picture that I love the picture more than my wife, okay? And so what, what, what is going on here is the Jewish Christians, they are in love with the picture of Christ and not Christ himself. That's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, I just want to... Go ahead. Uh, no, but um, uh, I think uh, you are saying that they love the, the law, but there is no... They, they do it. They just do it because it's a law. But wanna, there's nothing inside. They yeah. are not doing it for somebody or not for the Lord, not for God, but for Seb to fulfill the law according to the, the book. But it's just a book. You know, it's just a law. Yeah. You know, it's a shallow. What do you know what I'm saying? A shallow, Isn't yes. it where we, 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 have, um, we follow by faith, by faith. Even though we don't have the law, we, don't, we do not really, like, you know, here, the new Christian, we did not really, I did not read the Bible until I'm grown up, you yeah. know, but the faith is there that there is God. But to them, they have to be put, okay, this is one, two, three. You have to follow this, like the Ten Commandments. But so, they still, they did not, they specifically under each one commandment, two commandments, <coughs> underlining commandments, there is an underlining loss again and again and again. It just like never ends. Yeah, but just yeah. Like what you said. Yeah, Ati yeah. Marika. So let's, let, let Pastor, let, that's a good point. And, and I'm going to come back to your point. Pastor, go ahead and say something. And then, and then. I just want to clarify what Ati Marika said that it seems like. Uh... It's not that God changed because the first one didn't work. The, the law didn't work, so God will, oh, it didn't work, so I'm going to put a new prisoner. No, it's not. Yes. In the very beginning, that's not really the plan. Yes. The plan is really, Jesus is there it, through the covenant with Abraham. He was the offspring that the promised one. And then God gave the law just to, just like uh, what they were saying, is for their transgression so they can see in preparation for that, for that the one who comes, so it's just the shadow, the law is a shadow of coming. But you no, know, it's, it's not that the law didn't work, so God made another plan. No, in the yeah. beginning, the plan was really Jesus. It's just that the, the people kind of, you know, because they're so, because of the transgression, they're so, they want tangible things to see and yeah. to, to, to worship. That's why yeah. they tend to, to, to uh, go to the law instead of the promise of the offspring. No, that, that's really good, Pastor. And, and so, so kind of really what Mar Maritess is saying and also what you're saying, the, the people fell in love with the physical entity and not the, the eternal truth. And what you're saying, Pastor, is that God had always planned that physical, that shadow to point to him, to point to Christ. So the shadow, that's why I have the arrow here. It, it, it works both ways. It, it reflects and it also points. Mm -hmm. That's right. He, Hebrews 8, 5 says they serve the, the law and the tabernacle, the covenant. They serve a copy and a shadow of heavenly things. So if, if you're looking at a specific passage of what I'm referring to here, later on, we're going to see this. Uh, Hebrews 8, 5 is a great passage to go to. You don't have to go to there uh, later, but... but um, but now, but I, I think I think what Pastor Noel and, and Maritess are really getting at, and I really agree with that, is that faith is there. Faith is there for those who are truly believing, but they've become they've lost sight of that that big picture. And um, I think Pastor was also saying that it's not a different plan, right? That's what you were saying. It, it was always there. Yeah. And and we see that in we see that in in in, in Psalm 110. We see that in Psalm 110. Um, Let's go back and just finish Psalm 110 really quick. Uh, Psalm 110 says, um, uh, You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter kings on the day of wrath. He will execute judgment among the nations, filling them with corpses. He will shatter chiefs over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook by the way of the Lord by the way, therefore he will lift up his head. So these statements are connected with, the, the connection here I want us to see is, uh, is 
Psalm 110 is quoting from Psalm 2. Psalm 2 focuses on the kingship. Psalm 110 focuses on the priesthood. Hebrews, Hebrews 1 focuses on kingship and divinity. Uh, Psalm, Psalm 2. And Hebrews, Hebrews 6 and 7 are focusing on this priesthood. Okay? Hebrews chapter 1. Okay? And, 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 and in Hebrews, Hebrews 1 verse 2, Jesus is the final and perfect prophet of God. So what I'm trying what I'm trying to, to bring us back to the big picture is that the author of Hebrews is trying to prove Jesus is the, the prophet of God, the priest of God, the kingship of God. He's already proven the kingship and the prophet component. Now he's focusing on the priesthood, okay? These are three different offices in the Old Covenant that are, are finding its climax, its apex in Jesus, the Son. Amen. Okay? And this is going to continue. He's trying to establish a lock-tight case for the supremacy of Jesus Christ in all things. You know, there's other people that, that, that that's, that's from other famous people who have shared that. But it's really the case here, that Jesus is the priest, the prophet, and the king. Lordship, the word of God, and the one by which our sacrifices are, are atoned for, where our sin is atoned for, and by which he is the one who allows us, he mediates for us to go before the throne of grace. So um, let's, just, let's just think about this for a minute. Let's not go any further. If you want to have a comment or a question or an observation, um, uh, anyone wants to make a comment? What time is it right now? It's getting late here. So anyone wants to, I'll open the, the floor up to thoughts. I know this is deep. This is really deep. And a lot of things we, we don't have an issue with because we're not Jews. But this is very important um, for understanding who Jesus is, what Jesus has done for us, who Jesus is. This is really describing uh, Hey, Tim, could Pastor you present Steve. that uh, image again of the shadow? Yeah. A, I just want to take a screenshot of that. I have a better picture. I'll, I'll post it on the IC group page. Okay. I'll, 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 but yeah, go ahead. Take, take, take a screenshot. 